Yo, what is going on guys, Encooch here, and today I'm going to be showing you my simple strats for this week's Trials of Osiris map known as Memento. This is actually the first time we're ever seeing this map in the Trials rotation, and that's why I thought I'd make a video on it. Now this map's quite different to anything we're used to seeing in past Trials of Osiris maps, and that's because there's only actually two main lanes. You have the mid lane, which is, you know, where everybody spawns and gets into a sniper engagement right away. That's where you can win the round or lose the round in a matter of seconds. And then you also have the other side of the map where that little, uh, I guess you could call it a shack, the heavy ammo spawns on top of it. On top of it. Uh, that's another spot that you can go to that's very different to the mid lane you can't do too much sniping down there but shotguns last word pulse rifles you know anything that's more close range oriented does very well as you guys can see from this clip right here i tried using a sniper in a place where snipers were definitely not in favor and I almost paid the price if my teammate wasn't there to help me out and get that assist I probably would have died making the round a 1v2 situation possibly even losing that round so you really have to be careful on this map especially where you're walking because left side of the map is 100% snipers. You use a sniper there and you will do fantastic. But if you try using it on the right side of the map, somebody's gonna mite at you, uh, pulse rifle you, shotgun you, and it's not gonna be a fun time. So you have to definitely be wary of where you're going. One thing that I've noticed a lot of on this map is that some people don't learn from their mistakes, especially when they're trying to snipe down the mid lane. If you're one of those players that wants to challenge and get an engagement very quickly right in the beginning of the game with the sniper, that's totally fine. You can go down mid lane and test your luck out, see if you're better than the guys on the other team. But at the same time, if you're constantly dying, don't keep going and repeating your mistakes because that's the absolute worst thing that you can possibly do my limit personally is if I go down mid lane two rounds in a row and if I die I change up my playstyle. I no longer travel down the mid lane because most times I'm gonna get sniped so I try going into a different part of the map preferably the right side where like I said earlier the heavy ammo spawns on top of the shack I try going to that side um, through the alleys and through the buildings and I try using a primary over there with my teammates it's actually a pretty beneficial strategy especially if sniping isn't really your thing if you find yourself losing out on those 1v1 gun engagements down the mid alley like I said try using your team to your advantage remember there's always power in numbers so if you want to challenge the mid lane maybe get two of your buddies to also snipe and scope down the mid lane if you see one guy call him out and try and team shot him that will always give you more success than trying to 1v1 a sniper by yourself once you get that initial pick just sprint all the way over across the map throw grenades on it so that they can't get a res and they'll be forced to rotate around the map and try and get a different position leaving that orb right there for you guys to sit on in a 3v2 situation so other than that really use your team to your advantage on this map and that's all for the video guys i hope you enjoyed if you do smash that like button subscribe for more daily destiny content and as always and cooch out yeah if I ever said I'm